I thank you very much, David, for, for the kind introduction, and I would like also to express my thanks to the organizing committee uh, to uh, give me the possibility to present this uh, invited lecture on infrared uh, glasses and fibers for uh, optics and photonics. So I am with the glasses and ceramics groups group at the Institute of uh, Chemical Sciences at the University of Rennes in France, and this talk will be more on the optical, on the material side more than on the, uh, on the system side. Okay, so first of all, I want to uh, uh, give you some basic information about what calcogenite glasses are. So in all this presentation, I will, uh, when I will talk about infrared glasses, I will talk about calcogenite glasses. In this table here, I have shown three typical compositions. So calcogenite glasses are based on sulfur, selenium, or tellurium, or combination of these three, with the association of nearby elements in the classification, typically antimony, germanium, gallium, and also arsenic. Um, so they are very stable against crystallization, so very stable as far as the glassy state is concerned. As you can see here, we can prepare quite a big rods, typically 10 centimeters in length, and in diameter they can be from 1 centimeter to 2, 3, even 5 centimeters in diameter. Uh, what is noticeable is the glass transition temperature, around 300 degrees for sulfide glasses, down to 200, even 135 degrees for uh, terrarium selenium containing glasses. So those are really uh, low temperature uh, working glasses that has to be compared with uh, oxide, especially silica, with a Tg is equal to 1200 degrees. So nothing to compare, totally different material. Uh, what uh, makes them very, uh, very special is that they have a broad optical transmission window, up to 10 micron and above. Uh, this is, of course, related to the low phonon energies of these materials, typically the fundamental vibration modes, for, for instance, for a germanium sulfide glass, is down to 340 wave number, and if we uh, substitute selenite for uh, sulfur, it is, go it is down to 200 wave number. These glasses also have a very high nonlinear refractive index, typically two to three orders of magnitude higher than that of silica. As they are very stable, they have a very nice viscoplastic properties, so they can be molded, drawn, pressed, deposited in thin films, and so on, which opens possibilities for several kinds of applications for transmitting infrared signals or to prepare lenses for infrared cameras, some specific sensors, new light sources in the infrared, and also uh, thanks to uh, the nonlinear properties, 